Hey, this is Glendon Cameron with How to Make a Living Without a Job. And I'm here to answer your most burning question. How to be more productive. One of the most burning questions for my clients, one of the things that really troubles us all is how to be more productive. Because this is the gist of the matter. If you are not productive with your task, goals, the line items on your task sheet, if it doesn't get done, you don't move forward. So how does one become more productive? First of all, I'm going to drop a few knowledge gems on you. Multitasking is a red herring. It makes you fulfilled that you're actually doing stuff by having all of these things going on. But scientifically it's been proven sticking to one thing at a time actually will make you more productive. Now how do you mesh both of these things together? I'm gonna to give you my technique. I have two lists. I have my daily task list and I have my on point list. On my on point list is that one thing that I must get done a day. On my bigger task list, I have everything that's on there and I move stuff from that task list to my on point list. Because this is the thing, and I want you to imagine this. 30 day month, right? Most days, most months have 30 days. If you get one thing towards your business or enterprise, a major goal such as incorporation, doing a new logo, whatever, one thing, done per day that's 30 things done over a month that's incredible productivity but this is what most people do they'll have 30 things on a sheet and become paralyzed with procrastination or fear or they may become overwhelmed and they don't even start so the next thing that happens is one day two days three days four four no it's a week it's two weeks it's three weeks and it's a month and maybe one or two of those things were done and then you feel bad because you had all of this stuff on your list and you didn't get it done so your self-esteem just goes and then you just start like maybe this isn't for me and you start coming up with all kind of namby pamby excuses maybe the lord didn't want me to have it or maybe it's just not in the cards well the truth of the matter is you didn't take your goals that serious that's what happened when you take your goals that serious, one thing at a time, one goal a day, you'll make progress. There's no other way to get around this unless you go out and hire people to make some magic jelly beans and do the work for you. Now that will seriously leverage your productivity, but if it's just you working on your business, you have to be proactive and you have to have a strategy. So you have the daily task list and then you have the on point list. If you just get that one thing on your on point list done, you'll be more productive this next month coming up than you have been all year long. Because what happens is it feeds upon itself. You start looking forward to doing things and then you'll get that one thing done and then you'll move something else off of your task list. Then the next thing you know, you've done six things in a day because you're developing a habit of success and it starts off small so for the next month i want you to do your on point list and your daily task list pick one thing from your daily task list move it to the on point list don't do anything else until you get that thing done or engaged like say you're doing a logo some of the steps go to elance odes talk to someone put out a proposal that counts as getting something done because it's in progress and you have to wait until they get back to you. So when that's happening, move something else from your daily task list over. And before you know it, you will have all of these things that are done. Your self-esteem will grow and you will get stuff done and you will move forward. That's how you be successful one day at a time. All right, this is Glendon Cameron and I will see you on the good side.